In the mid-60s, the Department of Defense in the United States decided they needed a network, and they decided to implement the kind of technology I had been working on. And so it was decided that UCLA, my lab at UCLA, would become the first node, the first piece of the Internet. And so in 1969, that did happen. And after the first node was installed at my, at my laboratory, a second node was installed uh, at Stanford Research Institute, 400 miles to the north. And it was out of my laboratory that I supervised the transmission of the first Internet message. So what was the first message of the Internet? Do you know? You probably don't. So all we wanted to do was to log in, to connect from our computer to theirs. Now, in order to log in, we at our end have to type L-O-G, and the machine up at SRI will finish the message and type back the I-N for us because it knows exactly what we're doing. So we're ready. We have a telephone connection as well as a data connection. We type the L and we said, you get the L? Said, yep, got the O. Type the O, you got the O? Yep, got the O. Type the G, got the G? Crash! The network crashed. So what was the first message ever on the internet? Low, as in lo and behold. 